name's Lydia. I'm on the women's rowing team and I'm a junior. I've been rowing since my junior year of high school. All right, awesome. Um, so what has been the biggest transition between high school crew and division one crew? I would say definitely the time commitment. Um, in high school, I was, I only did high school rowing. I didn't do any club teams or anything outside of my high school. So it wasn't the biggest time commitment. Um, I did club teams for other sports. So I kind of know a little bit more um, of like, I don't know how to handle the time commitment. So I was prepared for it, but um, it was definitely a step up and there's a lot more um, physical stress that were put on there. Gotcha. What other uh, sports did you did? Uh, oh, sorry, that was in English. What other sports did you do? Um, I played lacrosse, soccer, and basketball. Oh, awesome. Okay. Um, how do you think those have kind of like helped you with the uh, crew? I, I don't know. I think crew's very different than all of them. Um, like, I don't know. I think in terms of like cardio and strength, the other sports helped me with rowing. Um, and I would say also just mental toughness. Um, but in terms of like the actual skills, it doesn't really transfer over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, with the COVID-19 restrictions, how has like training looked? A lot different than normal. So yeah. um, normally when it's not, when there's not ice on the river, we are out and we practice like two-ish hours in the morning and then we'll have um, usually lifts like twice a week and then four days a week we'll have second workouts um, okay. so like Monday through Thursday usually we'll have like two to three practices a day and then Friday Saturday we'll practice for two-ish hours um, and now we well Prior to the lockdown, um, we are not allowed to touch any of our equipment, and that includes the boats and the rowing machines. Um, so we have just been running and doing circuit for like an hour and a half, maybe five days. We're doing a lot less challenging, which is definitely very different than normal yeah I can imagine it's probably a huge adjustment especially when you're like you so you've been doing it since freshman year right yeah yeah so it's probably been like you're so used to it for two years and then you just got to like change everything it's probably just it's probably a big adjustment um how do you think like you and the team have made this adjustment work What do you, okay, do you mean, like, mentally, or? Um, I guess mentally, because I did another one of these interviews a few weeks ago, and um, we were kind of talking about how, like, teamwork was involved with the whole COVID-19, you know, restrictions, and I was just kind of wondering how that translated to crew with you. Yeah, um, I think it's, it's been pretty hard. I think especially because we're one of the bigger teams on campus. Um, yeah. So we are actually, we're, we're broken up into pods. I know we have four pods of like six girls um, and we're not really allowed to go anywhere near the um, can like interact with the other five girls. Um, three of which I live with, mm. so other girls. Um, and so, I don't know, I, like I would like to say, and you know, we're helping each other out, but it's hard to do that when we can't 
like we can't have team dinners and we can't get together and hang out because we've been told not to 